Hi everyone, so today we're going to look uh, in this video how we can create a simple camera 2D that can follow us everywhere we want to go in the game. This video is an extract of my Udemy course when you can learn also how to create an enemy that can detect you when you're too close of him and can throw bombs at you. You're also going to learn in this update of the course how to uh, create a splash screen to display the company name, uh, how to create a title screen that is animated with a texture button you can click on, uh, how to add a bit of music and a simple cutscene that gives you a bit of content text with dialogues. For this video we're gonna look how with four lines of code we can add a simple camera 2D that's gonna add a lot of juice to our games and so let's get started now. Here you can see that that level that I've made is uh, quite complex and there's like lots of uh, places specifically around here where like um, you go down, you go to the left, to the right, like there's many things uh, here that can be tricky for a camera to follow. And so at the moment uh, like if I launch the game, uh, the camera doesn't follow me. Like I can go here, it doesn't follow me, and I can also go that path and it doesn't follow me as well. And so we need to change that. And so that's basically what we're going to do now. So for that, we're just going to click on the camera and I'm going to click on the script uh, icon right here. I'm going to go into my uh, script folder, which is right here. And I'm just going to create a script that I'm going to call camera and so I click on create uh, I click on no comment here on templates so like that I don't have to erase everything and so here I'm gonna just remove that uh, function because I don't need it I need to have the process Delta function uh, and so I'm just gonna go right pass here and so basically what we need to do is we need our camera to of course follow our player so for that we need to make a reference to our player so we're gonna create an unready var and it's going to be called player with a little p and then we're going to say get node and then between quote two dot forward slash and player with a capital p because that's the the name of our player here uh, so now what we want to do is basically we want to uh, have the camera the global position of our camera attached to the global position of our player. But the thing I want absolutely uh, to not do is to have the camera that is following the player wherever the player moves. Like what I want is to have the camera that uh, is uh, within the boundary of uh, my uh, each of my little level right here. Like you can see that I have like a lot of uh, different level. Like each node here is a uh, one level. And I want to basically just display that part of the, le the level and I want the camera to be staying here. But when the player reach the limit, it goes to the next level. That's what I want to do. And so for that, what I need to do is first to store uh, the um, position of my camera. So I'm gonna say that var position equal uh, player dot global position so it's gonna make sure that the uh, camera always see the player that's basically what this means and then now what I need to do is I need to create uh, some limits and uh, for creating those limits uh, I need to uh, use two variable which is gonna be variable x and variable y so it's gonna make basically it's gonna uh, be variable that we're gonna use after that into a vector too so I'm gonna click on I'm gonna write var x is going to be equal to floor position dot x divided by 512 and then here I'm going to say out of the parenthesis multiply by 512. Why am I doing that? Uh, it's because if we go to the project setting of my uh, of my game if I go to window which is where is it is here if I go to window, you can see that here I have uh, 1024 to 600. And so if you tap 1024 divided by 2, it's 512. And basically, each of my level here are uh, 512 pixels on the x-axis and 300 pixels on the uh, y-axis. So all that here is like 512 pixel and this here is 300 pixel and so basically here uh, in the camera what I do is like I'm um, uh, by creating that variable 
I am basically making a reference to that size and I'm making sure that the operation I'm doing, which is uh, dividing 512, so making this make reference to the fact that my player can go to the left of the, the levels. So it, uh, it um, divide uh, that by 512, or here multiply by 512 pixels, which means it goes to the, to the right. Uh, whatever the result of this uh, calculation is, it's always rounded. That was floor is. Floor is rounding uh, numbers. So if you have a number that is a decimal, like uh, for example, if the result of this was 1.25, it will round it to 1. If it was 1.75, uh, it will round it to 2. That's basically what this means. And so now I just need to uh, copy that, but just change this. And here I'm going to say why. Here I'm going to say why. And here I'm going to write 300 by 300. And so now the last thing I need to do is to say global dot position. So here we are taking back the position of our camera. And here I'm going to set it up to vector 2. And between parentheses, I'm going to reference those two variables, x, y. And now if I save and if I launch the game, you're going to see that the camera is going to follow me everywhere I go. You see, and here, of course, I don't have <laughs> any background yet. Uh, but so that's it. So I can go here and I can continue to move. For example, I can go around here and you can see that it going to work all the time. And this is a very, very convenient way to actually have the, um, the camera that is following you because like that, you make sure that you have absolutely uh, no problem whatsoever. It's better to go with that solution uh, than uh, other one. So like here, I'm coming here. As you can see, I've made like a lot of different, uh, different stuff that are still uh, uh, I'm working on it, but like what is important here to understand is like now, as you can see, my camera is following me, following me everywhere. So that's it for this video. So if it has been helpful for you, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels and make videos regularly. Don't hesitate also to go and check in the description the link for my Udemy course and uh, consider to buy it if you are interested. It helps a lot the channels and it helps me a lot to actually keep doing those kind of videos. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.